is third chapter casting processes and plastic molding actually casting processes are carried out in three steps uh, pattern making molding and then castings so this topic will be divided into three steps first one is pattern making so what is pattern making pattern making is the first step of casting process in which in which a replica of the product is made and uh, that replica is called as pattern making and uh, casting is considered as the most ancient process of producing metallic components the place where casting process is carried out is known as foundry the casting process is also known as founding the casting process may be defined as the process of producing metal or alloy components of desired shape by pouring in into mold followed by necessary cooling to solidify the solidified piece of metal or alloy is known as casting it is clear from the definition of process that successful casting process can consist of following steps so this is uh, the definition of casting and pattern the basic steps are one by one that we will see first one pattern making out of wood metal or plastic suppose uh, you want to make a rectangle block metallic rectangle block by casting process so what you will do you will make the replica of this duplicate of this by uh, made by wood plastic or metal and giving the several allowances that is called pattern that replica or that duplicate is called pattern and this replica or duplicate is uh, uh, pressed into molding box or sand and withdraw this pattern from the sand so you will get a cavity rectangle cavity that cavity is called as mold and in that cavity a molten metal metal heated up to its plastic state or a liquid uh, heated up to liquid form and that molten metal is pour into this cavity after solidification you will get or after cooling you will get a rectangle piece that is called as casting so so many things are made by this process the uh, the pavli sweets are made by this casting process in which that wooden plate mold is to be produced in that mold uh, sugar is to molten sugar is poured and after solidification you will get the required shape of the uh, required shape of sweet so step by step first step pattern making of wood metal or plastic second step mold making called the molding from sand mixture third melting of metal or alloy pouring of molten metal into the mold cooling and solidification of metal removing the solidified components from the mold cleaning and finishing of casting testing and inspection of casting so these are the eight steps 
is to be followed in casting process so first step is pattern so pattern pattern i have told you pattern is the model of the part to be cast or replica or duplicate of part to be cast it is considered as the replica of the part to be cast except for the various allowances it is a slightly larger than the desired casting the process of making pattern is called pattern making in the first step making a casting even one article is to be cast pattern is essential it is used to prepare the mold cavity a pattern may be may contain core print runner gates risers may form the part of pattern what is gate what is runner what is rise riser what is sprue what is core what is core print that we will see further now <coughs> pattern basically is the replica of the casting is to be produced now there are different types of pattern are used for casting so types of pattern single piece pattern split pattern loose piece pattern match plate pattern gated pattern cope and drag pattern we will see one by one so first one is single piece pattern in single piece pattern this is an example one example of single piece pattern the wooden rectangle block and the stepper is to be produced so single piece pattern or you can say solid piece pattern or one piece pattern it is made up of one piece and no loose pieces no loose pieces <coughs> it is a simple and easiest type of pattern it is less expensive it has no joints it needs manual operations the molding operations takes more time it is used for a small production of large size simple casting the single piece patterns are generally used for wherever the small production of large size large in dimension casting is required example steam engine stuffing box then second type of pattern is split pattern split pattern you can see in the figure this one piece and this second piece so number of pieces are there example of this uh, dumbbell so this one piece this two piece uh, actually in more uh, casting or in molding boxes are there so bottom box is called as uh, drag and uh, top box is called as cope so this uh, bottom piece is a uh, pressed into drag and uh, this piece is pressed into the sand and cope and this is to be matched to for matching purpose dowel pin is provided and uh, after pressing if i will draw the front view so this is the complete box this is the separation of these two boxes the one piece on the top portion and another piece at the bottom portion this is the cavity and this uh, uh, hole is produce that is called runner and this is called razor so when we we'll pour the molten metal into this runner so metal will 
uh, flow into this cavity and it comes out when it comes out means uh, molten metal is filled into the cavity after so this one piece is in uh, upper part one other piece is in lower part this uh, runner and razor is to be produced and molten metal is poured into the runner and when the molten metal comes out in from the razor it means that the molten metal is filled into the cavity after solidification if you remove these boxes this bottom box sand casting bottom box and this uh, top box cope and drag so you will get a solid piece of dumbbell like this okay so this uh, loose piece pattern or a split pattern split pattern is made up of two parts one part is produces lower half for casting and second part produces upper half casting these two parts of pattern are held in their proper position by means of this dowel dowel pins the surface formed at the line of separation of two parts is called the parting surface or parting line main feature of this pattern are this is most widely used type of pattern the upper part in the cope and the lower part is in the drag cope means upper box drag means lower box i have told here this is cope and this is drag and in this figure this upper part is cope and this lower part is drag so the alignment of two parts is done by dowel pin this pattern can produce more intricate type of casting wall bodies example wall bodies taps and cocks small pulleys are produced by using split pattern then another type of pattern loose piece pattern that we will see in next lecture